Hi, this is Mike Kostiak with another edition of the Seven Hills Hall of Fame Resident of the Month. We're at the Rec Center here on a beautiful evening, and the spotlight for February turns to Phyllis Glazer. Phyllis, welcome to the show. Congratulations. Thank you, Mike. Nice so, to be here. Oh, it's great to have you. So, you know, I was looking over your bio, and I must say the two things came to my mind. Um, outstanding leadership and really a trailblazer for women. So there's so much to get into. Why don't we start uh, chronologically? Uh, take us back to your your, your years in, your earlier years in Columbus before you came to Seven Hills. Well, the first achievement of any interest would have been when I took over the Columbus Plains Association as the first woman president after 29 men who were attorneys and judges. During the time in my presidency, and you actually come up through the ranks, I ran golf alleys every June for 270 golfers. <laughs> that was an achievement. Um, we finally ended on one course, and of course I had meal at the end of the day, and door prizes, and all of those kinds of things. And then uh, during that time, I did show business. Um, I did go to Cal University for music, although I didn't graduate. And um, I did fun movies for 22 years, comedy, singing, dancing, uh, design costumes. I sewed till 2, 3 in the morning. <laughs> and also uh, Franklin Playhouse Theater. Uh, did guys and dolls and many others. Eventually they became Performing Arts Theater, which moved in one of the state office buildings, and I dropped out at that point. Parking was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so you start out in savings and loans and you end up in showbiz. Well. And, and you did, did things in front of the camera and behind the scenes, so really the shows couldn't have gone on without you. <laughs> well, they could have, but we survived. Not as well. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I also, during that time, uh, went to work for an independent adjusting company and was a multi-trade insurance adjuster. And because my family had been in the automotive business, I was able to pick up appraising very quickly with just two weeks of courses to learn how to use the equipment. <laughs> um, I left Columbus and moved up here in 1992 and went to work for another independent adjusting company and learned to hire workers comp, Texas, California, and New York. And uh, eventually ended up manager of that office and retired. After that, I joined Quad City CERT, which has been my biggest interest. Um, it is an arm of FEMA. And our purpose is to help our residents be prepared for, for us to help them. And uh, for instance, uh, Valley, which is one of the member cities, they had those floods. And we went in, we cleaned basements, we sent to meals, we uh, provided clothing, and worked quite hard to help them. Also, when Hurricane Sandy came through, in my neighborhood, I walked the neighborhood to knock on doors to make sure people were okay or could I take them to a hotel or such. And I continue as their treasurer, and I've been that for 11 years. And since I have an accounting background, I do all their federal and state filings because we are a nonprofit and requires uh, federal and state filings. Uh, in between all this, I've been singing German choruses, church choruses. I did not go back to playing the organ. My arthritis has presented a problem, and I don't feel like I'm capable anymore. So, since then, I've been involved in the German societies because I am the first generation born here. And recently, I became the first woman president of the Cleveland Medicor, which has strictly been a very busy men's organization. But the singers are aging, and none of them want to take the responsibility on. And since I have been involved in cleaning 
making up messes. I ended up as president of the Cleveland Medical. And so again, leadership is a theme. Being a trailblazer for women, because most of these organizations, like you said, are predominantly men. Um, so you had to have uh, exceptional leadership skills to have the positions you had. Now let's back up a little. 92, you moved to the Cleveland area. Win Seven Hills. 1994, when I married my second husband. Okay. And he, at that time, was president of the Irish Rebetta Corps, another German singing chorus. Unfortunately, that chorus has dissolved. And, of course, he's passed away six years ago. But we had a very good marriage. We traveled to Europe. I got to meet the rest of my family. And, of course, he had nine nieces and nephews. And one of them is the brewmaster in Bomberg. So we traveled all over Germany. And uh, I did get to my best. Austria, Switzerland, France. <laughs> so, um, but, but despite all that traveling, you stayed here in Southern Hills, right? Right. And you've been involved in some things here too, as well, right? Oh yes, I did um, the Charter Review Committee uh, years ago, which was quite a revelation. Uh, there are still many things in the Charter that need to be cleaned up. Uh, nonsense language of uh, making, because now instead of male or female, you have to make it uh, neutral. And the language was not put in in a good order. There's just, it needs work, but we did get seven items that we recommended put and passed by our residents. I know that was time consuming and tedious work, but thank you for your work. I'm sure everyone in the city appreciates that. Thank you. I um, I was very pleased to do it. You've also been involved in home days? Oh, yes. Uh, Quad City Sur always has a stand at the four cities that are involved in our, in our um, organization. That's Valley View, Brooklyn Heights, Seven Hills, and Independence. Each of home days, although Brooklyn Heights now only have a 5K run, but we always have a stand and we're always promoting classes which do start February 5th huh? at Independence Fire Department. And uh, it's, a, um, it's worthwhile to go to those courses. We've now included a CPR. Um, AED, which is the uh, shocker for heart conditions. Uh, we have uh, training for if you get a bleed. We, I carry a kit if someone gets a bleed. I can go in and turn the tourniquet. I do remember the day the tourniquets were not used because of the danger of waiting too long. Well, now, with the way we're able to move people, we can do the tourniquets and get them to the hospital before it's three hours. So, and we've had um, strong training by a Dr. Sheldon Rose from uh, Parma University. Very excellent training. He's also done some cardiology training along with Chief Joe Stefanko from uh, Brooklyn Heights. So, lots of research has really been yeah, uh, cornerstones for me right now. Sure. So I, I would imagine you're, you're planning to be at this summer's home days. So oh yes. So viewers out there, stop by and see Phyllis and um, thank her for all the important work she's done, uh, not only for the city of Seven Hills but um, throughout Ohio and into Europe. <laughs> so, uh, Phyllis, again, want to thank you for being here tonight. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you for all you do. And thanks for watching again another edition of the Seven Hills Hall of Fame Resident of the Month.